right, Kel just berated me. So thanks for tuning in to Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Chris. I'm Kel. <laughs> okay, she's she's um she told me to hand her something and I handed it to her, but I opened it first and she got mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, don't look, wait for the wait for the milk. I got so excited because these are the powders that I was telling her that I'm gonna add to resin. And so I'm like, why do you have mica powder? Well, uh, Jade, you know, Jaded Gem Shop, Jade. Okay. Hi, Mama. Hi. She introduced me to this through her channel okay. because it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. So I got the 36 color pack and um, I'll make sure to link her channel and because she has her own links to all this stuff. And I don't even remember if this was the exact one that she recommended, but there, it's basically powder. And I got, you know, 36 colors. Oh, in camera is great. So pretty. So how she this uses this. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh -huh. so how she uses these is in a round diamond painting. Mm -hmm. When you have all those extra gaps, yeah. you could put this on your diamond painting and it goes in between the gaps. Uh -huh. And it fills in any holes. It makes it look finished. Really? So like, you just kind of try to match up the colors? Yeah. Okay. So like especially mm -hmm. think about like if you're doing a light-skinned face. Yes. Sometimes you could see the black circles okay. or if the drills aren't fitting, you know, yes. quite right. You're seeing gapping. You put this in between and it just like fills it in nice it you just know sticks to the yeah sticks to the canvas much. and yeah I'll I'll link because she has a video dedicated specifically just for this and she shows mm -hmm. you how she does it okay and I was like that is such a cool idea and um I have not done it yet obviously but um because I'm usually a square girl but I have been working on rounds so I think I'm gonna look at maybe one of my Hannah Lynn's that I haven't hung up yet. Mm -hmm. um, Geisha maybe, you know, I don't know. I wanna try it though. So, nice. but Chris in our last video was talking about starting to do resin and she's saying these are the powders that you can mix in to make the colors. Yep, yep. Okay. you just put a little spoon like this much uh -huh. into the resin mm -hmm. and you just mix it and then that's your paint color. Yeah. Basically paint color. I, I keep saying paint, but it's really resin. But you know what I mean. It's yeah. Like and, paint. and there's a lot of, um, like, these are pretty big jars. They are. Compared to what else is out there. Yeah. I don't remember what I paid for this, um, but it was, I want to say, no more than 20 bucks. I don't that's, know. Yeah. That's you nice, know. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to try it. I thought it would be kind of cool. And I mean, now you can sample some of these colors yeah. and see if you like them or mm -hmm. I don't know. I may just end up giving it to you if I don't end up using right. them, you know. Yes. But um, anyway, that's that. Very cool. Isn't that neat? Isn't that funny how that I have so these? so funny. And uh, you're talking about it? I know. I didn't even look down there. So yeah, that's. I'm like, why do you have well, when it came, yeah, when it came in, I was like, well, I don't know when I'm going to need it, so let me just put it down, you know. Yeah. No, very cool. Yeah. Yay! Awesome. Hey, you might get into resin, too. You never know, you know? I but might. You might want to. I mean, you could just come over. We could work, do that one day. Just yeah, that would fun, be fun. You know, once mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I want to um, learn because, I mean. It's so cool. You're going to love it. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. Nova's awake. Nova's awake. Looking for something to do. She's gonna hit the camera, I'm sure. So, oh, very oh. good girl. She put, she, she's she's learning her body. Outside. Oh, she's probably. Like, Come on, let's go. He's like, nah. My mom's right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we are gonna catch you guys up on what we've been watching. Some good um, stuff. Yeah, some good, good stuff. There's been some good stuff out right now. Mm -hmm. Um. On a lot of different channels. Um, I will start with um, on Hulu. I just watched this documentary called Pretty Baby. And it's Brooke Shields documentary. Okay. I saw that um, very, pop up on, you know. Yeah. It was good. It was very interesting. It was basically about her life. But a lot of it was about um, when she got started. Like 
it was crazy how much they sexualized her as a child mm -hmm. and the roles she did. Remember that lagoon? Yes, Blue Lagoon, but she did one pretty baby before that. Oh. Where she was um it was kind of based on a true story of like a brothel back in the 1900s. Uh-huh. And how this woman took this girl in and kind of like looked after her and stuff and this guy ended up kind of falling in love with this young girl. I mean, I don't know the all the details, but yeah. um it was just kind of talking about like today you could never get away with that kind of stuff, you yeah. know, and, mm -hmm. and how she felt at the time and, you know, her relationship with her mother because she was the manager. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It was only like two episodes. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't bad. Um, very interesting. Hmm. Um, kind of disturbing in a way. Poor, you I'm know, sure. I feel for her, but, um, anyway, um, Netflix, you have to watch Beef. That show is amazing. And basically what it is, is um, these two people get into kind of like a road rage incident. incident mm -hmm. And that sparks off this interaction between them. And it's about both of their lives. Oh. And how they keep like kind of meshing okay you intertwine know? their they, lives come intertwining in and, okay. back and forth in different ways wow um and neither of them will kind of let this beef go wow yeah it ali wong is in it and i forget the other guy i really like him as an actor it's like they're all like korean japanese i don't i'm not really sure but uh -huh. um most of the actors are of asian descent um but it was an amazing, amazing show. I was kind of hooked. I couldn't stop watching is it, it. Is there going to be more seasons, I don't you know. think? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. I haven't heard, but loved it. Highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some road rage in person, and that is some scary, yes. scary stuff. Like, my attitude now is I want to be either way behind it or way in front of it. Yeah. I don't want to be nope. involved. I don't... Nope. I don't show the finger. I don't yeah. honk. I, I'm really, I've gotten better about yeah. controlling my emotions and just letting people be yeah. like, if you want to speed yes. around me, just go on. But, you're better. You're yeah, better away. Absolutely. You know, but what I love is that they really go into why they both lost it that day. They could have know, been going never, through. It's yeah. never about that incident. Right. It's always something else that you is going on that you that you just lose it over. Right. That. You right. Know? Yes. So I just kind of felt like, oh wow, like that could be anybody. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like they were already stressing about yes. life. And... and I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give it, you know, give it away. But, okay. Um, I you have to watch it so we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. your homework too, you guys. Yes. Watch it so we can talk about it. And, and leave it leave it in the comments if you have watched these shows that we're going to talk about. Um, the next one, Tiny Beautiful Things on Hulu. I, I want to watch that. I've Amazing. seen the preview. I loved it. Um, Reese Witherspoon and her company, Hello Sunshine, produced it. Oh. And I love everything Reese does. Like, everything her production company does, I love. Okay. Like, uh, little fires everywhere, you know. I like, haven't watched that. Stop I, it. I started it, but I couldn't get into it. I don't okay. know why. I think I like this one even better than okay. that. It's, you know, I mean, I liked it. Don't give me What's wrong. What's it but, about? Just give the people um, an idea. So, Catherine Hahn, I'm a big fan of hers, too. Um, she is a wife and mother, and she's just going through it, you know, in her marriage, with her daughter, at work. Um, in her past with her parents and brother, it's just about her life and she's a total wreck, mm. you know, and she just can't get it under control, mm. you know? Okay. Um, I can relate. Just kidding. Yeah. It's, it, it's just really good. I just, just am such a big fan of Katherine Hahn. So mm -hmm. anything she does, I'm willing to watch because I think she's an amazing actress. Um, so highly recommend that's on Hulu. Um, the other show on Hulu, Tell Me Lies. Oh, yes. I, you watched. I fell in love with it, and I, I was surprised that I did. Um, first of all, well, it starts off, uh, this woman is going to a wedding, and she's going to see some people from college that she hasn't seen in a while. 
and you see her interaction with these people and you know there's a history for all of them you know amongst each other in some way shape or form and you see them interact and I'm like hmm I wonder why he said that or she said yeah. that you know and then it flashes back to um years prior the year she started college mm -hmm. and when she met all of these people and um you know, it kind of centers around her relationship with this guy, but it also goes into all the other characters. And uh, I, I think overall, I really like shows and movies that are kind of centered around not everything is what it seems. Mm -hmm. You know, like you see this and you think, oh, like... We see beautiful, thin, smart people, and we go, oh, their their life must be the they best. They have it all. It must be so easy for right. them. You know what? I don't think it's easy for anyone, no. you know, all the time. No, You definitely. know, because, because, and um, yeah. I highly recommend it. I watched the whole season, and it's fascinating how the story unfolds you kind of learn more about each character and maybe some lies that they've told or fabrications. And mm -hmm. it, it would, where I'm at personally in my life, I didn't think I would like something so relationship kind of focused, mm -hmm. but I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Tell me lies, okay. you know? I'll and she it. is kind of young. Like yes. I, I can't, you know, I'm not going to watch a TV show about high schoolers. No. You know, I can't relate to that anymore. No. Yeah, I could back in the day, but not anymore. Definitely. And so I was like, well, she's 17, 18 going into college. How am I going to yeah. relate to this or kind of get into it? But yeah, that wasn't an issue at all. So, okay. Yeah. Um, and your job is to watch it so we could talk about it. Yes. I, <laughs> it. I started it. I just have to finish it. Yeah. Um, so now we'll talk about uh, Waco. There are two. One's on Showtime, one's on Netflix. The Netflix is a documentary mm -hmm. about Waco and what happened, and which I remember it happening back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, I was like 21. No, no, I wasn't. I was 16 when it happened. Um, so I do remember it, but I didn't know the details of like how they kind of botched it and, you know, the FBI, the FBI and, the, and, yeah. and the ATF and, mm -hmm. um, even the ATF was more, more than the FBI actually right. at first. Well, they weren't um, communicating. Yeah. And then, um, uh, the other one is on Showtime and it's a drama series. Okay. And it was really good. Um, I liked it a lot. And then today they come out with the aftermath, Waco, the aftermath. Ooh, okay. And I think that's going to talk about other situations in our history um, and maybe what they learned from Waco and if they applied it. Now, the but, aftermath one, that's a documentary no, or the drama? It's the drama. Okay. It's okay. the drama. But I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I like the documentary because you actually speak to some of the survivors. Yes. That came yes. out of Waco, and that was the first time <laughs> that I can recall ever seeing the survivors um, being part of a documentary right. on the subject. It's okay. So it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Um, I think Nova wants to wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't wrestle. Yeah. He has uh, issues. <laughs> yeah, he's like foaming at the mouth. Not foaming at the mouth, but he's like getting nervous. He's maybe. getting nervous. Oh, the yeah. bagging his tail. There you yeah. go. Be nice, you Nova. Nice you yeah. Know her. Yeah. Um, okay. The other one was Surviving R. Kelly. The third season came out. The third part came out. And <laughs> it was... Nova. It's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sorry. He's fine. He's wagging his tail. Okay. Um... That one's hard to watch. this one is more <laughs> about the trials... And what came out during the trials and uh, the it, it was it was difficult to watch. I actually cried through a, quite a bit of it. Mm. Learning what, excuse me, what these um, poor girls went through. And God, I hate this man. I hate R. Kelly. I've, I mean, I was never a huge fan, mm -hmm. but he was, he's disturbed. He and is. all the people that went along with this, shame on them and they should be in jail as well. Yep. 
They really, really should. Because it, it, all of it couldn't happen without Absolutely their help. Not. Some that, of it, but not to the extent. No, that's why they got them on RICO charges, because mm -hmm. it was an organizational thing. Yes. It wasn't just one person committing a crime. It was organized crime. It was organized crime. Yeah. And for them, all, for all these people not to be charged, boggles my mind. Right. Boggles my mind. Right. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, like uh, I only watched the first episode of the newest episode. Uh, uh, season season yeah and just in that like they were they gave more details than I had Absolutely. ever heard before like specific yep. shit that he made them do literally yeah <laughs> I was like no human yes. like like it's torture it is Absolutely. It's torture. It's mind control it's manipulation it's disgusting it's fear it's, it's yeah it's, I couldn't imagine Ah, uh, gosh. I and what even... that does to you psychologically after yeah. you've done these things, yeah. then you have so much shame that he's controlling yes. you with as well. It's just too... Yeah. yeah, so I have to be careful when I watch it. I have to be careful that I'm in an okay place to yeah. go there because, you know, yeah. No, it's it's, it's not it's a feel terrible. good. It's not a feel good show. It is absolutely <laughs> not a feel good show. So, um, a fun one is Unstable on Netflix, and Rob Lowe is in this. He's so cute, man. How can he get more attractive with every year that goes on? Because he's on because he's doing keto. That's why he does well, whatever keto he's commercial. doing. It's working. <laughs> Uh, that man. I mean, he was always attractive, but OMG. Really? OMG. Okay? Just watch the show for okay. him. But he plays such a little corny, like he's a nerd, but he's kind of like a narcissist, but not in a like real bad way. He's not like mean or anything. Uh -huh. He's just, you know, he's self-centered. Self he's a billionaire, like a millionaire or whatever. Okay. And, um, but he's like lost his wife, so he's trying to adapt to that and um, and his son comes back from New York to help take care, like basically the, help the company because the dad is so all over the place. Okay. But this is really his son in real life. And I didn't even realize oh. that. Oh. So that's cute. And it's a cute, it's a cute little quirky show. Okay. It's just a feel good kind of show. Okay. I yeah. need to try that. It's, it, I, I recommend it. It was cute. And that's on what? That is platform? on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, I watched a show on Showtime called George and Tammy. It's it's about um, George Jones and Tammy Wynette. Oh. And it's kind of like gives you along the lines of, um, what was that movie with uh, Reese Witherspoon and, oh my gosh, The Country Singers. Oh, uh yeah. Who is that famous Cash? One? Yeah, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Yeah, Johnny Cash and his um, wife. Uh, what was the name of that damn movie? It was so popular. I don't know. Anyway, it gives you along those lines. Uh, but Jessica Chastain is in this one. And I'm a big fan of hers. So mm -hmm. I didn't even know anything about their story. But because she was in it, I had to watch it. And it was really good. Hmm. Very good. So okay. if you have Showtime, I, I recommend that one. Okay. Um, on Showtime also, Yellow Jackets is the new season is out. And I have not watched it yet. So I can't say how I feel about that one. But I do know that the girl from Six Feet Under is in it. The daughter. Oh, the redhead. Yes. Cool. She's in it this, this season. Oh, I haven't seen her in a minute. I know. Me either. And I like her. I Lauren, haven't even. Her name's Lauren something. Oh, is it? Yeah. I I haven't even watched that show yet. Oh, it's good. It's a good show. It's uh uh my daughter, my oldest just started watching it. Well, she's on like the second season, I think, and she's like this gives me like Lord of the Flies vibes, oh, you know, mm -hmm. where they're like on a, from a plane crash and what they have to do to survive type situation. Okay. But then it flashes to them as adults, so you know some of them survived. Okay. You know. So, um and then the only other one that I need to watch is called The Night Agent on Netflix. I hear that one's pretty good. 
I don't recall. You would like that, I think. It's about this guy. He's um, They give him a position called the night agent, and it's like he works in the basement. You know what? Phone I have. Only rings. You watched it? I started watching okay. it. Okay. Yes. And, and I, do, really good. I do like it. Um, I'm I'm pretty deep in. Yeah, yeah. actually. I like it. it. It gives me kind of... Um, what was that one Mission show? Impossible type vibe? Kind or? of, yeah, like um, 24. Remember okay, that yes. show, 24? Kind of like that. It. Yeah. But it's good. I like it. Okay. I Do you like know how it. many uh, episodes there are um, on it? I, what, what platform is it it's on? It's on um, Netflix. Okay, I'm going to look right now. What's it called? The Night Agent. The Night Agent. Yeah. So, let's see. Continue watching... Yeah, I'm on. Oh, I'm on episode eight. Oh, so wow. I guess I have been watching it. Wow. <laughs> um, Is there 10? It's good. Um, looking at episodes, there's 10. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost finished with episode eight. Okay. Um, do you watch Abbott Elementary? No. So cute. I've heard it's good. I hadn't watched it. My daughter forced me to watch it. You have to watch this because you want to talk about it all the time. You uh huh. Know? So I finally watched it. It's on Hulu. They're 30 minute episodes and it's a really cute show. You really have to watch it. It's like, is it cheesy? No, not at all. Okay. It's kind of like the office. Like it's, it takes place at an elementary school, but they're doing it like a documentary type oh, style. Okay. And so they're just doing their thing teaching, but then they look at the camera or they'll talk to the camera and give their little, you know? Yeah. But it's so cute. Okay. It really is. Okay. I gotta and it's check not, it out. And it's one you could do while you diamond paint. Okay. You, know? you can listen yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good one too. And that, again, that's on Hulu. Did um, you watch You People? You People. Yes. Did you I like did. it? I read, I believe I did. It's been a while since I watched okay. it. Jonah Hill and, um, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I don't know her name, but I liked it, but it was kind of cheesy too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like the ending was kind of cheesy, but okay. you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with cheesy sometimes. I guess. You know, sometimes you want cheesy. You don't always <laughs> Do want you? things. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, sometimes. I don't mind. Um, Oh, there was a movie I watched I was going to tell you, too. Oh, gosh. What is it called? It has um, uh, Kate, Kate, Bl Kate Blanchett in it. And she is a composer. I saw the preview. Where? It's really good. Really? Yeah, look it up for me because I want to tell people about it. Just type in, like, Kate Blanchett movie. I want to say. On Google. Yeah, I want to say it was, um, I can't tell you what platform it's on. I forget. Uh, it's her latest. Um, oh, there it is. The top one. This? Tar. Tar. Down below. Oh, this Tar. one. What's it on? Click it. It's a drama, psychological drama it's on, on Peacock. Peacock. It's on Peacock. I recommend that movie. Really? Yes, it was very good. She's um, she's an amazing actress, and it kind of I don't want to tell you what about it because it's gonna ruin it. But mm -hmm. she's just amazing. Like literally in the first scene of the movie, she's being interviewed as one of the few women composers, you know, or um. Not composer. She's a, a conductor. I'm okay. Sorry. She's a conductor. And um, the way she talks about conducting and music, she just has me like hypnotized. Like she's, you believe she's a conductor. Wow. Like she's so good. Huh. But anyway, I recommend that. Okay. And then you just watched last night. The Boston bombing. Okay. The Boston Marathon bombing. I was watching that on Netflix. On Netflix, I had I had watched documentaries about that before, but this one went into such depth, talking to you know, the FBI, talking to people that were there that mm -hmm. were victims, and going into, you know, the family of the bombers, and it just was more in depth than I had ever seen before. Yeah. And, you know, it was pretty fascinating. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to check that yeah, out. Yeah, it was, it was very well done. Mm -hmm. um, and they kind of go into, you know, the decisions that they made, you know, when they did release the pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them wanted to hold off, and one guy really wanted to release it right away. Um, it was interesting. Yeah. Okay. It was very well done. Okay. Um... Yeah, so there's three episodes of that. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, reality TV-wise, um, I I was surprised at this, too. I started watching Love is Blind. Okay. And it's basically um, all the guys, like, live together, all the girls live together, and then they go into these pods. And you have a date with someone, but you can't see them. Okay. So they're kind of on the other wall, side of the wall, and you just talk to them and make notes and write stuff down. So you're basically dating many people in a day and you're trying to find the one, right? Okay. And so after a very short period of time, I want to say like a week, um, you propose. You propose marriage to someone you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And then if they say yes, then you meet each other in person and actually get to see what each other looks like. And so it, it was cool that, you know, you, you see people connect, but in a very kind of deep way that people yeah. don't usually do right away. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, some of the couples I like some, this one guy made a decision and I'm like, you're picking mm -hmm. the wrong one. Cause it was between two women yeah. and he went with this, you know, one for whatever reason, I was like, you, that's the wrong one. And yeah. it ended up being the wrong one, you right. know, but it's like, I don't know. It's, it's weird how like I could watch stuff like that and still appreciate it for what it is. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm not so, um, sour or on relationships. You yeah. Mean? On okay. relationships, mm -hmm. on love. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't need, I'm, I don't need to be with anyone or have the desire right now, but I just kind of can appreciate it in others, yeah. you know, it'll come in time, you know, like and right I'm, now yeah. it's, it, it's, it's not, not even something you need to think about, right. but yeah, in time you'll find, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll find somebody, you'll be happy. And if not, you'll be happy. It doesn't right. matter. Exactly. You know, but you're going to be happy with making choices in your life and not having to rely on somebody else to, yeah. Or to dig somebody else out of a hole, you know? Yeah. And I mean, it, I am changed, but I think not in a bad way. Like, you know, I can't imagine like really sharing finances again with mm -hmm. anyone. Right. I think I would want to keep everything separate Yeah, and that way that. it's fair. And you know, some people go, Oh, well that, that means they're your roommate. Well, I mean, no. Which, just because we pay the bills together and it doesn't go into one pot yeah. doesn't mean that that's wrong. No, absolutely you know? not. Absolutely not. So, and, you know, I'm learning to put me first. And that has to remain intact regardless. For sure. Of who I'm with in the future. You yeah, know? and it's going to take time for you to get to that spot where you will never... Like compromise compromise on that again mm -hmm. so just take your time and yeah. you'll you'll be fine and then when you meet the person you're supposed to be with you'll know yeah you know and it'll be a different caliber of person yeah absolutely because you like i was what what you deserve yes i believe yes yeah. i was telling aunt wendy that i said um i said um only certain people are going to have access to me, period. Mm -hmm. And they have to be worthy of that, yes, you know? definitely. And um, it's going to be just a different caliber, you know? Yes. And and you're 100% right. Like, we we take what we think we deserve. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because if we thought we deserved more, it would be unacceptable. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And wouldn't even be an option. So, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's a little side mm -hmm. note. <laughs> okay then. All right. Well, let's. Um, Do you have any more? It. I had. Um, There's another movie that I really enjoyed. It was the, about the two women uh, investigative reporters from the um, New York Post. No, I'm sorry, the New York Times, who broke the Harvey Weinstein case oh, wide open. Oh yeah. Can't think of the name of the movie or the service, but 
Look that up. It was such a good movie. Loved it. Okay. Anyway, but um, that's it. We can uh, do our dad joke. Okie dokie. We'll go first while you look for it. Okay. Why are elevator jokes so classic and good? Because of the music that's played on them? <laughs> no, because they work on many levels. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. wah. All right, well, here's that masturbation joke that you've been waiting for <laughs> for a whole week. Give it to week. me, Karen. <laughs> These are sent to me by Karen, our, uh, the president of our fan club, <laughs> whether she likes it or not. What do you call a group of cows masturbating? A, a herd. I don't know. Beef stroganoff. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Classic. Goodness. Classic. Wow, Karen. I expected better of you. Man. You Cal, mean I cleaner. Think, I think Cal uh, has rubbed off on you a little too much. You're, we're going to keep you away from her at the retreat. Oh, no. That's impossible. <laughs> I need more time with Karen. Oh, goodness. All right. Well. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for being with us again. And again, we're going to try hard to bring you weekly content. Yes, and hopefully we'll have some unboxings up here. Yeah, hopefully. Here and there. Not you know? me. I haven't bought anything in so long, so we'll have to rely on Kel. So. Well, I haven't really either, but, you know, I, had, I have a little stash. To, yeah. yeah. Open. So. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, crafters. Bye.